Uh, I want to go and have <laughs> sex with all the men. I'm an old woman. <laughs> I'm a 110-year-old Carrie Bradshaw. Uh, we missed JP last week. Good. Don't worry. Uh, my mentor has he, suggested we go out to California in April and go <laughs> see JP. <clears throat> With your mentor, yeah. 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 You want to do that? Yeah. No, I'm down. Yeah. You want to come? No. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think so. <laughs> you could go hang out with your fucking LA bubs and shit. Well, I know that my best... F- well, so my best friends are listening to transphobic propaganda. <laughs> Have you? Did you see him on the latest... Uh... Also, that was nice. Thank you. Uh, but also, he did, he did throw in a caveat though. He, he start he, he started to say best friends. Best friends. But then he bailed some on some of yeah. my. Best <laughs> oh, I didn't even notice yeah. the bail. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> he, did you hear him on the light, latest Joe Rogan? Of course no, you didn't. No, I, I just I saw did, I, I just saw him uh, funny. in his tuxedo, and I was like, "What the fuck is he doing?" <laughs> He's gone insane, I think. Yeah. He looks fucking mental. He looks in, like a crazy person. I would only want to sit. Like I would only be like, oh hey, if I saw him at like a gas station. Yeah. But I'm not gonna like pay to go see him. Or why not? It'd be fun. It's telling you boys, he's he's his brain's still thawing. You know, <laughs> takes a minute. <laughs> it's warming up. The it's meat a, thaw. It's a, it's a real. <laughs> it's a hunk of ice. You it's know? like a. Yeah, his brain. Those Russians. His, his, I got his, a beef his, broth his lobotomy. Is literally, it's, his, it's really helping <laughs> thaw me out. His brain is literally a uh, like a hunk of ground beef that you get from the store that you throw in the fucking sink in hot water <laughs> to thaw out. That's his mind right now. It's sad though, because like mm. I don't know, there's not excess Jordan Petersons to lose. No, there's a couple things that I heard that he said, at least clips or whatever. But it, I, dude, just out of the gate. Ugh. That's I mean, the thing about climate change. It hurt those me more than types. anyone. Yeah, he's like, those, those climate types. <laughs> fucking idiots. And that's dude. you, they, Don. They, they try to say, uh, what, what do they say? They say the models, they, it encompasses everything. But what does everything mean? What, you, how, how do you have a model that encompasses everything? It, it, Michaela? Is Michaela part of your model? <laughs> Do you uh, think? Uh, do you think Joe Rogan? Michaela eating there? beef every day is that is that part of your climate model? <laughs> you soy cock retards. <laughs> there was something that he said that even Joe Rogan was like, "Ah, oh, well, I'm not gonna touch on that issue though, or something." Didn't he? Say well, he's he to Joe's credit, he kind of did not let him sit there and just spew insanity. Like he questioned everything he said that did not make any sense, you know, and didn't really. Uh, yeah, he, he didn't let him get away with it, to be fair. But, yeah, it's just sad. And it, what, what's scary is um he's saying that stuff, and I'm sitting there, and I'm like, man, this doesn't make any fucking sense to anybody. Usually you're but, there but, with your, like, No, no, but, but eventually... But, yeah, yeah, but eventually he, he gets... He gets to this place where he's still defending the same point, but it's it weirdly starts to seem like it makes sense, sort of. Like, like he kind of reaches this coherence that is still co- incoherent, but you can, like, be taken for a ride with. Which is kind of, uh, I don't know, just uh, <laughs> You're reevaluating the past like, like, oh, <laughs> six years oh, of your life. Uh, you're like, <laughs> yeah, you kind of get on the roller coaster and you're taken for a ride. Yeah, and you start to. It's kind of fun. Yeah, you start to. Then you be think of all the, the other roller coasters we've been on. <laughs> huh. <laughs> yeah. The whole theme no, no, park. No, 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 but you know what? <laughs> all, that, all that other stuff definitely made 100% sense. And now, you know, he's just. Made. Of, it's an interesting word. He's, he's got he's got ice beef brain. Some some would say mm, past right. tense. Rus- Russian ice brain. Today's video is also sponsored by Bad Dragon. Do you like fantasy dildos? Sure you do. I like to plant them to my shower wall and ride them vigorously to get a good start to my day. I personally can't get up without it. Folgers, move on over. Bad Dragon's here to stay. <laughs> I like the ones. <laughs> I like I like the ones. Don likes to. Inside the dog muzzle no, one, it's his I favorite. He have, does, he loves it very a, much. I have a dog. Such so a wide selection. I could never Such high quality. Bad Dragon is here to satisfy every kind of sexual fantasy you've ever had with reliable, quality products. Personally, Personally I'm a fan, fan of, of the, the Sugar, Sugar Star. Star. You use that too? I hear Don uses the one that looks like a dog's mouth. So weird. And also, if you're on the smaller side, like my co hosts, they have products that you can attach to yourself to give yourself magical fantasy enhancements. It's the only way my wife can get off. You can put a horse dick on your dick. That's my favorite. I don't know. They're awesome. They make good shit. If you're interested in getting a dildo or any kind of sexual product, whether it be a gift or for yourself, be sure to check them out. They make good shit. Thank you, Bad Dragon. Love you. It's weird, too, whenever it's like any time that 
anybody goes on that podcast or if it's a controversial figure, it's just uh, it, it's there's too much noise from like all these directions. Like it's mm-hmm. hard to process it. Or you mm-hmm. Like uh, what was the? I saw this Trevor Noah clip where he was like, where he was like, uh, they were taking the context of like Joe Rogan or Jordan Peterson's like, I don't know why we call people black. They're brown or something like that from the podcast. And then, and then, and then Joe Rogan was like, yeah, I mean, I guess, you know what? And like, he was like talking about it, but I don't think it really seemed too serious. Mm -hmm. But then like, they like fucking like blew that thing up. And then Trevor Noah's like, Oh, you hear that? I'm not black. I'm brown. And he like gets up and runs off and then like police sirens go. And I'm like, does that help anything? Does that like, it it just feels like it, it. I, I I tend I feel like I just tend to avoid all of it because it just fucking puts me into this deep deep depression <laughs> of just like God this is just like what this is what it's uh, and maybe it's always been this way too but it just feels like it's so like that joke uh, the way that at least you told it doesn't even make any sense I'm not black I'm brown and he runs off in police sirens but well I think it's supposed to be like oh I'm not black as if like I think that it's like what he's saying is that the color doesn't matter it's still like there's still a like problem with racism in the country. Yeah. It's what I would assume that means. I mean, I don't know. The only thing I can think of that would make the joke make sense is if he's like, I'm not black, I'm brown, therefore I can get away with something, and then the police sirens come from it anyway. Is mm. that what it was? <laughs> yeah, I think that's it. Is it's, that what it was? Yeah, it's because what you call it doesn't change. But it, but it doesn't, because the whole thing on that side of the spectrum is that police go after anyone who's like not white. Right. With a oh, so, specific so saying, bone of so, earth. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. So so it's just kind of. So his, he played sense. a joke as if he's like, "Do you hear that, guys? I'm not black. I'm white." And then but, yeah, yeah, it doesn't. But yeah, it doesn't make sense because you didn't say white. It's a brown. Well, you know, Trevor Noah is a pretty fantastic comedian, but you can't win them all. <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, the writers on that show are. Listen, I'm <laughs> not trying to start anything here. I was just saying I saw that. How is that and, starting uh, anything? I just well, I'm just, because people, you, you say this shit in the mm. podcast, people are gonna be like, Ugh. like all the fucking viewers and stuff. So I just you have to well, you have to clarify yourself eighty thousand fucking times. And I'm just saying that it feels like, regardless of that, because you know whatever your opinions are on whatever, I'm just saying that like even if it wasn't Trevor Noah, then you have like other people saying shit from other sides or mm. it's just like this where i'm just like can, if, if you think somebody's just so fucking stupid can you not just like not listen let to them him. die out or whatever if you i feel like if you keep giving them this platform to be this fucking insane man you're going to like like no. uh when um i don't know if, if you try to censor something people like ha- like harp on it more i guess versus like if you just let them ramble and be stupid i feel like people would just be like uh <clears throat> i don't know i liked his stuff back then but he sounds like a fucking insane person now. The thing is, like his, I keep saying it, but his own podcast is good. But what's funny is, it makes me wonder if, like, it makes me wonder how many episodes never get to air if someone is like, yeah, you're, you're, <laughs> you're a little crazy that time. Dabbing his head <laughs> in sweat. You gotta. Okay, we need you to collect together. He's like, beans, spell the beans. beans, beans Jack, beans, Jack, beans, beans, Jack, 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 beans, Jack. Jack, beans, beans, meat. The beanstalk, what does that mean? What does what's it mean? What's the beanstalk? What's the bean? The, the, peapod, peapod. What peapod, does that mean, peep, Matthew, peep. Matthew, Matthew McConaughey? What? <laughs> Matthew, are you, are you Matthew, Jack? Matthew, are, are you the giant? Math, are you the giant, math, Matthew? Math, math. What does it mean math, to be a giant? A giant math, math. stood on the shoulder, shoulders, <laughs> shoulders. The person, head and shoulders. My the hair fucking, falling like, out. Nineteen-year-old intern he has is just like, <laughs> <laughs> just totally fucking like brain dead. Fixed. <laughs> oh no, I was gonna oh. say he's like he's like what is this hell? Yeah, no, he's he's like this. Is, he's like in sublime. He's like yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> eyes roll back in the back of his head. Oh. He, to be fair, like... Every intern he has, their hair goes white. Yeah, and, like... <laughs> <laughs> After two sessions, the first time it's, like, a peppered, like, gray, and the second session it looks like fucking Doc from Back of the Future. <laughs> white with wisdom. Yeah, exactly. Just right ah, right ah, there, bros. Ah, ah. I think uh, as that podcast went on, it got better. Did you listen to the whole thing? <clears throat> well, that's what I'm saying. It's He started to kind of, like... Oh... But when he you got know? out of the climate change stuff and like oh, okay. over time, because no, it's four hours long. I bailed because it was legitimately making me sad. And yeah, I listened so, to all of it and yeah. it does. He does get more coherent and make some, you know, right. fantastic points. Uh, but mm-hmm. there is also a part where he starts talking about music and starts crying. <laughs> so I was, I, yeah, you I let Neil it. Young get I off Spotify, it. Joe. <laughs> Why did you Neil do that, Young, Joe? Old man, Joe. Old man, heart of gold. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's a harmony, man. Come on. That's a harmony. He's just talking about like how you know music. It's a pattern. It's a set of <laughs> patterns, and they're stacked, and they and they intertwine, and they and they reach crescendo at certain points with each other. Hey, you and know And then what? you take two people. And they start dancing, and that's two more patterns on top of the patterns, I and that's love it, life. Dude. I love that's it. religiosity by his very definition. That's life. He's he's willing to take his own medicine. But Joe is just like this, Whoa. stony face. No, not even like that. He's just like, like he's he's done with the the tears, with the huckster shit. Yeah. Well, that's the thing is like Joe Rogan is just as autistic as him. Yeah, but the first like all the first appearances of Jordan Pierce on a Joe Rogan, Joe is like, whoa. Oh, like the first time uh, J- Jordan Peterson explains religion to Joe Rogan, who is famously mm. like very anti-religion. Joe okay. is like, but now like, and so is everyone else. Eight years down so the line, is, so is everyone else. <laughs> Not me. No, he just. Uh, I know. I remember when that episode came out. I told you about it, and I told I was like, that was man, that was a really good episode. That was, right. that was kind of crazy. Yeah. Hey, who's this guy? Who's this Jordan Peterson guy? <laughs> Coming up, you don't want to go to Barnes and Noble and see yeah. if we have as a book or something. Yeah, maybe he has a yeah, and maps and the, meaning. That was the starting of the the yeah. ball rolling. And then you listened to it, and we were like, "Yeah, that was crazy. That was, a, that was a really good episode." <laughs> Once again, I've said this before. Twenty sixteen. I'm, I'm such a sheep, though. Anytime that I mm-hmm. I hear anybody say anything, I'm like, "That's a good point." Like I remember hearing all like there was that <sighs> famous uh, there was that that like really famous episode where what, what was it? It was like the CEOs of Twitter. And then that dude that had like the oh, headset. Jack Dorsey. <clears throat> Jack Dorsey and uh, Tim Pool. Yeah, or whatever. Those people. <laughs> yeah. And the whole time I was just like, yeah, I, I could see what you mean. On both sides. <laughs> so you'd be like, so why is there censorship when it comes to right leaning things? I'm like, that's a good point. Why does that happen? And they're like, well, I mean, we can't cater to everything. You know? Yeah. And, and the whole time I was like, well, I mean, the guy You're point, just you a can't. ping pong pool. L- literally. I was just, literally. <laughs> yeah. And by the end of it, I was just like, well, some things are best left <laughs> unspoken. <laughs> Shake hands and part ways. It's like, that's not so. Yeah. That's All sorts of guests, though. Yeah. It's like left leaning, th- you know, left or right leaning things all the time. I just, it just I feel like I just enjoy the conversation. Like, I remember the first time I saw Ben Shapiro on one of them, mm-hmm. and I was like, yeah, this guy's. Yeah, I mean, I don't. Yeah, he's making some sense. He's kind of funny. He's like a weird Jewish, like goblin man who talks <laughs> all funny. I was like, sure. It's the same with like Gavin McGinnis and stuff. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, people are like, Ben Shapiro's this or that, and I'm like, oh, I, oh, I, I could have swore he was kind of charismatic. On the show. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's inherently the problem too. Maybe people get swung into ideas because mm. they're just like they're so stupid, like me, and they're just like, "Well, I thought he was kind of cool." I mean, he, he's talking about some stuff I've never. You could have a beer before. with him. Yeah. Can you imagine going to a bar with Ben Shapiro? Have, have a seat. <laughs> have a seat. Have a seat. How you doing? Yeah, exactly. Would you like a Shirley Temple? Like, no, I'll take a regular drink, like a man. Even mm. though the last couple times I have been. Oh, hey, I'm also a man. You I'm also a man. I'm also a man. Maybe I shop at the Kids Gap, but that's neither here nor there. You think if a man actually shopped at the Kids Gap, that he would con- like have to like a man w- that with the wealth that Ben Shapiro has, he has to be sending assistants to mm. shop at the, the Gap. Kids Gap for him. Yeah, I told you my waist is a seventeen. You need to let me down from my high chair right now. <laughs> no, I'm gonna fire ben, you, ben, ben. You have to. You need to eat. You need to eat your kosher applesauce, Ben. <laughs> No, I don't want it. What does a Jewish baby cry like? Eh. <laughs> what does a... I don't know. You tell me. What does a you, you just baby like, Jewish... You just for it straight away without like putting it together. You just kind of... Eh, I've been I guess thinking I about it thought, for should have thought how wrong... What does a Jewish baby... <laughs> I would say, what does Ben Shapiro... What does a Jewish baby cry sound like? like? What is it? What is eh, minus 2.8% on the deal. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Shame on you, Thomas. Shame on you. Uh, eh, subprime mortgage loans. No? I do... I did want to bring up to something today before I forget, which was... Uh, I don't know if... I, th- I think I just talked to you guys about it, but Tom, I don't think you were there yet. Uh-oh. That Paramount Plus... Uh oh, the Halo show coming out. We talked about yeah, we saw the trailer. Yeah. Yeah. Why? What do you think? Well, Why? because all good things have to be raped, Tom. Yeah, apparently. It. I, th- I think this gets said a lot, but it really looks like a VFX YouTube channel fake movie trailer. Yeah, that's cool, dude. That's what makes it so cool. Uh, it's mm. down to earth. It's, it's humble. It's fan made. Here's here's some things that they could have done to instantly make it thirty million times better. 
Oh, wow, okay. Not change Cortana to, like, a alien-looking woman with, like, normal skin. She needs to be, like, a blue hologram. Literally just make her blue. Yeah. They, they, I mean, they could still do they that. Did that. They did that in fucking Blade Runner. The hologram thing? You could. I feel like that'd be way easier than getting... They've been doing that since fucking Star Wars. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you, yeah, you can make her a hologram and give her her actual voice. For hey, there might be kids that there was a set of Star Wars that that it, it was in the in the seventies. Oh wow, maybe yeah. maybe there might be some kids who are like the one from the late nineties well, and early two thousands. That works. They had that kind of technology back then. Yeah, it's true. They did. Maybe they're worried no one's gonna want to fuck her because I'm sure that no one's gonna want to fuck her now. Have everybody, you seen everybody, her? Didn't every it, didn't everybody like get. Hard cocks over the hologram girl from Blade Runner. Yeah, for sure. Everyone got hard cocks over Cortana but with her, her big like like Halo I, I Four like it, But the hologram girl in, like in Blade Runner, that was her whole point was to give hard cocks to everybody. Like that was oh, literally that was the point. what her okay. point was. Whereas Cortana, here's here's the actual thing, Don. They were worried that she was going to give them hard cocks, so they got they the gave... weirdest, slender giraffe-looking fucking woman what ever. If, what if it was a hologram thing and they just made her ass like? Six times as big with these huge tits, and she just like steps up. Awesome. Can I do awesome. something for you, John? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hello, Master Chief. We have to find the Halo. Yeah, you're just like, all right. I'm, I'm listening. <gasps> Twenty times better already. You hear Master Chief breathing inside of his suit. <laughs> breathing how though? With the same voice he's had since the start of the series. Oh, is his voice different too? Yeah. Nope. Yep. Like Why would they change that? Like the most iconic thing. Because because. To your third point, he has to take his helmet off. They're giving Master Chief a face. Which is, uh, Trevor Noah. Why do, Why does he need to take his fucking helmet off? Can you off? imagine if Trevor Noah was Halo? <laughs> Master, Master Chief. Chief. <laughs> yeah. This is new Halo. <laughs> this is new yeah, Halo. 2001. What is it? Where is he from? He's he's just, from is he a Saffa? Saffa? Oh, is he? I thought he was from England. I can't ever no. fucking just... If people are like, oh, that's New Zealand, I'm like, I thought that was literally Australian. Like, I, I get Well, they, they sound mm, that's, exactly yes, the same. Do they sound exactly? Okay. Well. Almost. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But yeah, he's, he's South African. What if he was like just a hard, hard Russian accent? That would be cooler also. Would that be kind of dope, though? If you're going to change yes, it. Cortana, I will go and get the halo. Yeah, if they did that, I would kind of be interested. He takes off his suit and everything, and he has like just an Adidas track suit on. <laughs> his like gelled down hair, and it's like right here. <laughs> I heard you like house music. I do too. Gets in like a, gets in a fucking, uh, gets in a BMW and starts drifting up a mountain or something like that. A BMW. It's an interesting yeah. view of Russia. Isn't that, or Vol- was it Volvo? What's the big Russian vehicle? I thought BMWs were big and, like, mm. that's oh, a good, I, uh, yeah, I just feel BMW. like a man who wears tracksuits and slicks his hair down is from, like, an ex soviet Actually, he probably just block. had, like, what, like a Honda Civic? Like yeah, a 90s exactly. souped up Honda Civic? Yeah. Okay, yeah, With, yeah. like, a spoiler? Yeah. I did appreciate uh, the actor they picked for Master Chief, though. His face is just, like, fucked, which is kind of an interesting choice. Oh, like, you've his, seen the his, actor they picked? Yeah, his, his nose is, like... Did you say, is yeah. it the Mandalorian actor or no? Did you, no, no, no. Oh, you know his, nose, they, his nose is pretty rough. You know like, how they cast that, minorities so the no. minorities can be like, oh, someone like me in a big film role. Yeah, is that yeah. how you felt? You were yeah, like, look at his okay. nose. That's why I wanted a fat <laughs> no, he, Master no, Chief. he makes my nose look even cooler than it already is. Cause what's uh, what's, his, his, what's the actor's name? Fun. I want a fat Wisconsin Master he's the guy, Chief. He's the guy from Orange is the New Black. I've never seen that show, but his character was like porn stash something. Oh, really? Pablo Schreiber. Oh no, Lee Schreiber's brother. That's it. Oh, who's, who's Lee? Wait, Schreiber? the guy that played the guard and yeah. Orange mm-hmm. Black from like the first season that rapes the girl and mm-hmm. gets her yeah. pregnant. That's that's my Master Chief. Like yeah. I was saying though, before I was silenced, I want a fat Sorry. Wisconsin Master Chief. Master Chief, you have to get the, you have to go to, I don't know whatever fucking play. Halo. You have to just find the Halo. He's like, oh yeah, okay, I'll go up there and I'll get the Halo and I'll. He would have done it in I'll figure it three out. days, too. Yeah. Oh, it's done. Yeah, you're like, what? You don't, yeah, you don't even see it. It's done. I did it. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Covenant are gone. Over. Co- Covenant gone. All those disgusting space aliens gone. <laughs> gone. <laughs> Bug people, all sorts of stuff. Fucking gone. That would be epic. Master no. Chief. Eh. No uh, Sergeant Johnson trail either. It's a bummer. There's like a there's like a big black guy Spartan instead. 
You're yeah. like, they replaced my one black guy. <laughs> the one black guy I liked. <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> He's gone. He's in all the games. He's fucking gone, man. He's in all the games, too, isn't he? Mm, no, every, he yeah, died every, in Halo 3. Likes John. Sorry, he, Tom. I guess he's kind of like... Sorry. Because you've had a more condescending tone. Could you be more retarded? I haven't fucking played him. Why Actually, I did, play, I, play, I did play Halo 3. That was the first one I played. Oh, was it? That was a time, man. I had, that uh, was a real that experience. Was right when I got the Xbox 360... Uh, like that Christmas, Halo Three came out, and I got that. And then also, I got the. By that time, I think a couple of years had been going on, but it was like the Gears of War metal box. Oh uh, yeah, dude! Cool. Hell yeah! That. Did you have? I like I liked Gears of War more. If I'm being honest, I loved Gears of War. That was my fucking the shit. The first game, yeah. As a kid, mm. chainsawing people. I can't think of like a cooler game back when it came out. Just like fucking. Pleasuring all the thirteen-year-old neurons oh, in my brain. Uh, God of War still forever. Yeah. Very first time I played God of War on PS2, I was like, I, I think I'm, I, I had a, I had a hard <laughs> little little hunter cock the whole time because yeah. you got to do the sex simulator. In there, You're yeah. just like, <laughs> but then also just all the deaths were fucking awesome, mm -hmm. just gory as fuck. It was just great. It really sunk its hooks in with the horrors and all that stuff. That's all you have to have horrors. Um, unsuspecting parents too. And now I feel like no at that horse. time, like that was not probably seen as a possibility by parents that if they buy a video game, even if it's well, rated the guy M, at GameStop, I can't, I've, I've told this story. Yeah, he tried to cuck yeah. you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, the guy from yeah, it's fucking bullshit. I hate now, that fucking Knox. Now you can always <laughs> if you if you order something because you can order those games. Like if it was today's time, and that came out, you could just order that from Amazon. Do you have to verify your age on that, or can no, kids just but like your parents it? gonna fucking see it? Yeah, I, I doubt they care. If my mom didn't know anything, if the guy didn't stop her and say, oh, by the way, there's, you know, pussies and assholes and he gets to fuck all of them and eat all of them and stuff like that, then she'd probably did, be like... Did your mom... So, remind me, your mom didn't buy it then? Yeah, no. The guy was like... What a fuck, The dude. guy at GameStop was like, they yeah, can... there's nudity and it's really violent, but mostly it's just the nudity and there's <laughs> like... And there's It's like a sex simulator is what he said. And I was like looking at him and I was like... Dude, what the fuck? Are you kidding me? So then I had to get Dragon Ball Z Sagas, which was like the worst Dragon Ball uh, Z game. And I was so, f I was so bummed, dude. dude. I took it to my friend's house who was like this Christian kid. Actually, it was the same kid I did my story time about <clears throat> you know, or whatever. And I took it to his house and he was like, this game's fun. And I was like, shut the fuck up, dude. <laughs> shut up. Of course he loves it. Shut the this fuck up. This is awesome. Up. It was so bad. If anybody's played Dragon Ball Z Sagas, they'll know. It's the fucking worst was yeah cuz that around that time too there was like uh like what was it Dragon Ball Z Budokai which those games are kind of cool those were, yeah those are good so i was like oh well, i'll get this i guess cuz like Dragon Ball Z and it was just fucking atrocious they they would always i guess it was like a worldwide rule that they would try and knock on you but my mum was always like i don't care it's fine whatever i don't care good i mean that's what it should have been yeah mm -hmm. i should have taken my dad cuz he boy just wouldn't have cared yeah, I think that also my mom really wouldn't have cared, but I think the guy was, was like, like shaming. And her. there was other people in there, so yeah. it's like, oh, what do I do? Uh, oh yeah, it's fine. Okay. I don't. It just it looks trashy. Uh -huh. so. And your mom obviously not trashy, so yeah, my mom definitely not a fucking trash hefty. Is what called it. <laughs> um, trash hefty. <laughs> but no, I think to her credit though, I think like a week later, I was like, this is just awful. Like the game, the Saga's game. I was like, I'll be honest, mom. This this is terrible. Like this is not. Did you really? Yeah, and she was like, oh, "I'm sorry, blah blah." blah. And, and then, oh God, come on, man. Well, she was. <laughs> she, well, she said it. Was she said it. Doing a birthday present, or did she just say, "I'm going to take you to GameStop and buy you"? A game? I, the, the trailer came like, out. The trailer came out, and then for like two weeks, I kept putting I notes wanted, under a door, wanted. saying like, "I will not ask for anything ever again if you get me this game." Blah blah. blah. Mm. I'll very promise. Very cute. Well, of course. Well, I'm a kid, <laughs> but the. <laughs> But I, th cute. I think it was something where I was like the whole time I was stoked about it. I even beforehand I bought like the game guide and I was looking at all the art and stuff uh. and like and I was drawn from it. And I think that she knew that I just like it was something I was super stoked about. So she, I think she either turned it back in or traded in and just got me at it. She relented I, on her way home. Good, good Missy. Did you know she was gonna relent or did she surprise you? Yeah, no, she she did. she uh, she let me know. She's like, oh, oh, how cool would have been if she had been like. Phew. Well, she wouldn't. I think it would probably. If I, I'm like Dudley. I would have been like, <laughs> like, good. You learned your lesson. <laughs> <laughs> I should have gotten two games, mother. I got one last year. This year, I must have two. I remember I was so pissed though that year because I was like such a fucking God of War like 
all I mean like I drew Kratos all the time like all the game informers anytime there's like new art I would like tear out the page and I put it in like this binder of stuff of like flipping through and so I could mm. just have this huge thing of God of War and then in Game Informer, they had like the whole like Game of the Year thing or whatever, and like Resident Evil Four like won all of it, and I was so fucking pissed. He was so I was like that, and I think that honestly that it's like translated even in today because I'm like, I mean, it's fine. People was talking about like Resident Evil Four being the best thing ever, but I'm like, yeah, okay, <laughs> cool. Well, I can't fuck girls in it, and I can't kill gods and do whatever, so that's fine. Oh, you want to shoot Armenian people? <laughs> 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 fucking Armenia. Yeah, that, that car ride on the way to heaven, you know, the success after begging her for two weeks. Just imagine, like, getting, she, getting in the car to go to GameStop, you know. Oh, was, yeah. Like, I mean, Oh, it was did awesome. you get in the car with, to was, go with her? Yeah, he yeah went, well, yeah, he, I went to GameStop went to with store her. I think he's talking about the Dragon Ball Z. Initially. Oh, yeah. The initial oh, right, one. Right, because, right. yeah, whenever I did that, it was, like, one of those fun days, too, where it's, like, it was, like, just an awesome day. I think it was, like, a fucking, like, a Friday. My mom's, like, you don't have to go to school. Like, we'll just go get lunch out. And just what? like a deal. Yeah, she's awesome. It was awesome. Damn, dude. So she'd go and be like, Yeah, fuck it. Yeah. She's like, Yeah, just like uh we'll say you're sick and we'll just go to like Red Robin and then go that's to That's fucking a... that's it was awesome. Yeah, and then like you have a big gone, belly gone, full of day. burgers and fries. My and, mom like, some... doesn't want to seem trashy. <laughs> some soda and then uh <laughs> stinky burger kid. She's dragging in the middle of a school day. <laughs> I was <laughs> clearly not sick. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was a Friday, so it was a three day weekend for me. Was that every Friday? No, no. It was just one day. It was like I li I had been building up that game for so long. Oh, so it, she made an event of it. Yeah, she was like, "Hey, your game comes out today." And I was like, "I know, I know. I'm so excited." And she's like, "Let's just go get it." Type deal. So oh. it's like one of those things. Oh, that fucking knock. I know. It was. We should I, fucking drag him, dude. We should find that man and tie him to the back of a Silverado. At the, <laughs> but the uh, I assume he was white. Yes, but and uh, straight. So uh, what's the problem, huh? Silverado. <laughs> Silver Silverado. Silverado. Why do I just hear deafening silence? I don't know. Um, Trevor, just, back you, me up. You run that joke like six times a week. Because it's <laughs> new to me. I've never heard it until Trevor whispered it in my There's ear. There's something wrong yeah. with me, brain. I forget. Me forgets. <laughs> Silverado. What are you talking about? <laughs> Me forget Silverado. <laughs> Silverado, Silverado. Uh, yeah, no, it was that was a fun time. That was also fun. Like I know you've talked about this before too. But that was like you'll never have any kind of joy. I remember having eleven dollars when I was a kid and like just being like I'm rich. I'm it's like half a Lego set. I'm like I can be. Oh, I remember like I got like eleven dollars. I bought like this Lego ninja. It was like a back in the day. There was like a ninja set thing, mm -hmm. and, you, and like you could get like a like a boat, like a ninja samurai boat or something. And I remember I like my leftover and changed. They're like, "Here's eleven dollars back," and I was like, <gasps> <laughs> and I put it in like a fucking like Mario wallet or something like that. And I was like, "Oh, so. <laughs> <laughs> my dad gave me a money clip when I was seven, <laughs> and, I, and I lost it immediately. And he's like, "Where the fuck's your money clip at?" And I'm like, "I'm seven. <laughs> I think I left it at Jordan's. He's like, with your money in it? And I was like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> He's like, God damn. So yeah, the I yeah. That's why you have to give kids like big flashy things. You're like, I don't want to leave this at Jordan. <laughs> He'll take it. And like a money clip full of money. You can just have it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was like a I don't know. I get what you're saying. Like with like if I got a ten or like a ten pound note or twenty twenty quid, like just the sense of value you give it as a kid. It's just like this, like holy piece of paper, and you're mm -hmm. just like, "Oh my fucking god!" Yeah, I and mean, then Legos literally was so expensive. I mean, I, I never I liked remember, Legos. I feeling I thought they were oh, fucking really? gay. I was, which Man. is ironic because I was all about connects. Lego, <laughs> <laughs> of course. Well, with connects you could like build things. I'm like going. To, I want the Ferris wheel, mother. <laughs> <laughs> No, I wanted it's the claw. You can pick I'm things up with science. it. I'll tell you what was the coolest thing. Which I, <laughs> I think that the companies I were, want the royal palace, mother. Feels like the companies were much more exploited. No, they didn't back make in the day. Palace out of connects. 
Why not? Because it's fucking. It be would have been stupid. functional. There would have been little. Do. There would have been lifts. <laughs> no, it'd be like. Look at my little piece here, brother. It's, it's it goes like up the, tower. It's like literally the fucking like. It would just be the frame, the scaffolding of the powers. You know, I would go and to my friend's Legos house, Don. He bricks. would show me this cool like claw he made that works out of connects. I'd be stoked. I'd go home, play Sonic the Hedgehog. There's nothing. That's the kind of kid I was. Okay? There's nothing fucking cooler though than going to your buddy's house. And then, like, autistically making the worst-looking spaceship and then playing with it for seven consecutive hours. <laughs> to be fair, I did get the... <laughs> all time. I was stoked for and did get the Darth Maul ship with Darth Maul. Oh, Lego. okay. Lego. Yeah, I mean, the Star Wars Legos were hard to pass up. I think I got, like, an X-Wing or something like that. I was like, oh, uh, yeah, uh. yeah. But I will say, the greatest toy to ever be put on a shelf, at least for a guy, like a boy, was uh, the fucking Bionicle capsules. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, going into yeah. a store and seeing those capsules with all the characters, mm -hmm. it was so cool and stuff. I was even like, when the movie came out, I was even like, we gotta see the Bionicle movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but it's a journey of a lifetime. But I've been wanting to, fi I've been wanting to find one again, like a sealed one. I've been trying you to talk about the ones where they like shot discs and had like flame swords and stuff. Mm. Yeah. I think there was the later yeah, yeah, version. I think the later version shot them. What, what were they called? The, the bad guys. They're like these little like. Yeah, the fucking weird. And they shoot like, like claw. Yeah, they shoot like a disc out of their mouth. Yeah, yeah. that was sweet. And the, yeah, the yeah, good no, guys, the, they all had the mask of power. But yeah, know? the. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Was there a, was there a show? I just thought it was a movie with like they had the golden mask one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was basically just like a it was like a weird it felt like a Christian movie. It was very odd. It was like it was Jesus <laughs> Christ. It was something weird. But yeah, the religious context in this bionicle film. But yeah, they were they were really cool. Yeah, I remember like they had like I just loved the mask. You could take the mask off. They had like, mm -hmm. these weird like bug faces inside yeah. of them. And you had the flame sword, all that kind of shit. Like, <laughs> those those capsules though were like. I was like, what a fucking cool, like, they just felt cool to hold, and... Yeah. Yeah. They got really weird at the end with the, I think, I remember the last ones were called the Paraka, like, the bad guys, and that was right before Bion Bionicle went like that. The reason I remember is, uh, they had an ad campaign with, um, All American Rejects. <laughs> so they're trying to like take these two like two like middle school boy bait things and smash them together and so they're like so it's like a music video of all american rejects playing that song what's what's the song it's uh, trying to think what song they're trying to keep it strong move move along, yeah so they're, but they're like in a warehouse and then like <laughs> it's that commercial and there's just like a narration that's like the evil paraka of kidnapped all american <laughs> rejects <laughs> <laughs> so buy the paraka to save this band or something. And then they, they did like this whole like We gotta and, save and, all American <laughs> rejects. But uh, a few years ago I got to see I got to see them uh like a friend of my brother's there was like an event where they like a private event we got invited through that they the All American at. Rejects? Yeah, they were playing and they they they're fucking great live. It's crazy. I don't, like, I don't like their music, but like they're like, like a couple songs. They're like what forty was now and they, they what, fucking what was, the, what was the other big song they had? What was it? What, was, yeah. what, what, swing, what, swing from the million. Yeah. Oh, there's that I one. But I was thinking that it ends tonight. It ends. Yeah, yeah. It ends tonight. So like that. Yeah, I remember that was a big one too. When I was <laughs> but I, I got that must have been a fun show though. Yeah, no, the show was awesome. But before the show, was there lots of like? There, there was, like a, a, was there lots of the, cute pussy there? It was, it was it was like it was like a private party. <laughs> well, no, no. That's, oh my god, no, that's, that's what happened. Still <laughs> fucking bionicles with their knives. I, th I thought it would be hilarious. Fucking speaking Arabic. I thought, I thought it would be bala <laughs> bala. There was like a private uh, photo shoot with the band, and we like got in line to go take like a photo with the band. I was like, I'm gonna be so funny. I'm gonna, when I stand next to the singer, I'm gonna ask him how he escaped the paraka. <laughs> Did you? Did you say it? Yeah, but... <laughs> but I thought I, we were out no, of these no, no, stories, so, Don. So, so <laughs> Fucking God, such a red not, ahead. Not, not only did I say it, but I stumbled on it. I was like, how did you uh, escape How did you escape the <laughs> Taliban? <laughs> <laughs> and he, he's like, what? And he, he was like, wait, what? I was like, oh, you know, the par the Paraka, the ad campaign. I was like, oh, yeah, the fucking Bionicle thing we did like 20 years ago. Yeah. And, and, like, and you're like, yeah, he's like, all right, move <laughs> along. That was your picture. <laughs> God. Just How many me. years ago was this? Fuck. Like, uh, 
<laughs> probably like three, four years ago. It oh, that's like, like nice. It was, like, it was a year before we moved to Texas, give or oh, take. Oh, wow. Okay. Like, yeah, so that's pretty, years, yeah. yeah, not super. <laughs> did you escape <laughs> the pack? Did you, <laughs> you escape the pack? You, the you, like, were you way taller than them, too? Yeah. <laughs> How did you escape the you? pack? It's like a worm's eye view looking <laughs> up at Don. <laughs> all morphed and shit. How did you escape the pack? It's like coming right at you and his eyes are like on the side. It's like that weird warp thing. <laughs> How did you escape the paraca? Guys, I hate these private events. Can we, <laughs> we, gotta, can we just can't stop do being all really American this. rejects and be a new band? Yeah. Was it a pretty big venue? <laughs> no, it was. It was like a, oh, it was a private event. It was like a law firm having this like crazy oh, private party suck, thing. Man. Yeah, God, that would suck being a band and playing like mm. corporate gigs like that. I mean, whatever you have to do, I guess, to pay your bills. But fuck sakes. Yeah, mm. it's definitely not the heady highs of the Bionicle advertisements. <laughs> I would have been real down back in the day. Real back full of, back in the day, hot commodity. <laughs> I bet they were pretty stoked to get a Bionicle deal back in the day. Mm. Clearly, had no self respect. Even nope. then, so I don't think they. That's like mind. saying like t t t they're like, oh, Tom Dom, we want to put you as Fortnite skins in Fortnite right now. Right. I would do that. Yeah. So people could use out. me. People could shoot me in a game. <clears throat> I feel like so, that's that's not quite as bad though. No, you're right. Like as, we we like, do we emphasize all sorts of fun the evil stuff, Baraka. and then <laughs> it's it's like flash kits in ten years doing a. Uh, Ten years. Think about ten years. Oh, no, from they, now. they Think took about this deal with now, their height, You guys though. are doing birthday parties for kids, and they're like, "Yeah." And the dad of a make a cartoon, make a cartoon. And the dad of a child's just like, "So, would you mind pitching me NordVPN real quick?" Or, <laughs> or he's like, uh, "So, uh, raid Shadow Legends, yeah, hey, huh? Can, can you, you escape that giant?" Yeah. Hey, <laughs> what can you talk about, Chonaru from the Doom Tower? <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. Like, fair enough. I'm just like. <laughs> We gotta stop doing these. We gotta stop doing these corporate <laughs> events. All American rejects, like in wheelchairs, and they're just like, "Fuck you, <laughs> suck my dick, Tom and Don." I don't even know who these people are. <clears throat> I, I don't think they made it across swing, the pond. Swing, swing, found that really yeah. I don't know if this is Amer all American rejects today. Yeah, no, I, seriously, they're like live. They were. Like, I bet they're I great. Like, these guys are fucking great. God yeah. damn. Yeah, but. You know. Did you become a fan? Did you go and buy a CD? Mm, no. Did they have a merch booth? CD. Because it really is just like those two songs. Did they have a merch booth? No. No. They just came out and played and fucked off after like the, the photo shoot thing. It was The event was like literally like 200 people or something. And then... Uh, that's 200 shirts that go sold. Mm, that's, <laughs> that's true. Yeah. Master businessman. <laughs> I wonder how much it costs to get the All American Rejects to play at your private party. Can we get them to play on an episode of Cream Crew? We looked just up that right just, there. I feel like. <laughs> oddly, do you think that the Tim Allen? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, do you think that Tim Allen is more expensive than All American Rejects? Yes. Are you talking about the fact that Tim Allen listens to Cream Crew and is now taking our idea and making it reality? <laughs> he I could, will yes. hit up Disney about Santa Claus. That's a good idea. But the, uh, but the uh, ten, what was it? We like for a corporate get event, it cost like ten grand or something, or was it even more? It was, it was more a, way more like two hundred grand. Yeah, it was. It was insane. That's like right. Yeah. Two hundred fucking. Yeah. Yeah. Minimum fee is seventy-five thousand dollars. Well, I don't think we're gonna be able to get them on the show. If we can, we. Can we start a Patreon right now with the express goal of saving up <laughs> to get the All American Rejects on? So that I get my right second there. shot. Yeah, and then yeah. they start playing. Then I ask them the you're, yeah, thing. but you say it real confident, like yeah, yeah. I'll so how'd you it. escape from the <laughs> Parak? <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Fuck! Oh, oh dang God it. damn it! Fuck. Cut it! Cut it! We're doing it again. Did you fuck your flashlight yet? Because you said you would. I did. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot, and I'll tell you why, because my editor... Wait, you forgot to fuck it, or forgot to bring it up? No, I forgot to fuck it. Mm -hmm. There was also, even if I would have remembered, there wouldn't have been a really convenient time, because I had my editor in town the whole... Basically. Dude, you have, a, you have a bathroom? Lock yourself in? I just feel the horror, though, of coming out and holding that <laughs> flashlight, and just being like... You, know, being like, you have to be sneaky I was just it. looking at it in there. <laughs> Your wife takes a big Did sniff. You that? He's lying. Were you, were you fucking that flashlight? I was like, uh, no. no. Let me smell it, dude. <laughs> you were definitely fucking that. <laughs> Take the cap Just off real quick. Come all over your hand. No. 
Oh, was I supposed to come inside of it? No, it just overflows. It's just so much. Yeah, so much. <laughs> oh! oh! <laughs> Empties you out like a toothpaste tube. Yeah. What, what is the process of cleaning it? There must be like a guide. I think you have to turn it inside out. Does it come out. with like I a little toothbrush thing? Or uh, no? maybe. No, I think yeah. you turn it inside out. Okay. And then like what? Just wash rinse it. it off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's also I looked at the bottom because I was wondering that I was like, does cum just get stored at the base of this? But the uh, <laughs> the bottom of the flashlight has uh, there's a hole. So yeah, even drainage. Today, <laughs> so I, little, I was like, literally wondering if you're just supposed to like, put it up to a faucet and just like. <laughs> And if it just like <laughs> shoots, that out would be awesome. Out. Do you reckon you could like hook up like a suction hose to it, so you, you never have to worry about it? It's just like <laughs> just takes it. Oh, maybe that would be I, awesome. I would just, I, I, it would, it would skeeve me out. You just hear the buzz of a machine. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Every so often, someone just hears. Looks like, <laughs> uh, looks like fucking just like a big tub of just like spoiled milk. You know, milk gets layered and that <laughs> disgusting thing. That's what my giant Curdles. vat of cum looks Your like. Cum vat. <clears throat> oh my god, how much have you used this? Not very much! I it's swear. like a huge bucket. It's like a Home Depot, like, it's like a colonoscopy bag bucket. at your side at all mm. times. <laughs> yeah, love, yeah. Oh my god, I'm sorry. What is that called again? Colonoscopy bag. Yeah, it's like, oh my god, I'm sorry. Yeah, you must have had a colonoscopy. I'm like, mm mm mm. <laughs> wow, why is that white? <laughs> 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 Fucking burst open like a giant, like <laughs> like a giant. Uh, what are those? Uh, gusher, all of my leg. Oh, you bitch! Don't wife. look at that. It's poop. Don't look at it. <laughs> Don't look at my poop bag. It's like so obviously cum all over my leg. Your bitch wife bought the fucking off-brand ones from H E B and not the thicker ones that mm. hold together better. Is it compatible with their other products? It's all a flashlight, right? What does that mean? Well, I remember years ago there was oh, the a launch. Yeah, you knew what I was talking about straight away. So it's just oh, funny. No, it's just funny. It's just funny. <laughs> it's an ad that just looks like any other ad at first. And it's like this, like, just terrible actors. It's like, I miss you, honey. And the other guy's like talking to her on Skype. Oh, I miss you too. He's like, hey, you want to do the thing? He's like, yeah. And, the, and then it just goes zero to a million from a couple talking on like iPad to like he gets his fucking contraption. <laughs> <laughs> and there's like this sweet lap. music yeah. and it's so like cinematic and, like, and stuff. Dick or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I think I've seen that commercial. My, yeah, I wonder if the little hole on your uh, your thing, like maybe that's the attachment port, and you can maybe attach it, it to a watch. Yeah, and just grow your that's collection. A good point. The, it would be really funny just to have it, just to just to put that large contraption on your lap, <laughs> and I would hope it's super loud. Like <laughs> 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 uh, the. Uh, Someone's trying to open my door. I'm like, yeah, give me a minute. <laughs> it's I'm clean up in here. I'm clean up in here. Hold on, just give me, give me a second here, okay? <laughs> my uh, compositor, dude. Are you really clean in there? <laughs> Would you believe someone was cleaning if that's what they sound like? Yes. Here? Okay. My wife cleans up all the time. It's exactly <laughs> what it sounds like. Are you cleaning up in there? <laughs> I'm like, hey, you want to have sex tonight? She's like, mm, not really. <laughs> I got mine. <laughs> My compositor is uh, getting sponsored one of his videos or something by like uh, Auto Blow. Mm. So he said he'd hook me up with an Auto Blow. Hell yeah. So, you know. Boys, we can compare Which, notes. What video is sponsoring? I don't know. I was too enraptured by the oh, prospect of free auto blow. <laughs> the only other one I've heard that's like kind of like that on YouTube or whatever is uh, what Adam and Eve. I think is the only <laughs> other one I've seen. I uh, no, I think yeah, it auto blow is actually sponsoring him. I think. For some no, I, am, I assume I just have never heard that company right, before. Right. The only, like the, the only adult thing I've ever heard is our Bad Dragon and Adam and Eve. The the, the thing is though is like. Like with any piece of tech, when I hear about it, I have to do extensive research. Mm. So I was like, is the auto blow any good? Or am I better off with <laughs> with a handy wow, these reviews handy are man. really great. Yeah. It can sync up to your iPhone? I think it does sync up to AI stuff. Oh, mm. I, I would, what is, what is AI I would imagine. Like the VR headsets. And like they sync mean? up to the... We've talked about this before, I think, but the motion of the woman on screen. Oh, so does the app like read the motion and create No, I think the... they're correct. I think they're like... Someone sits and like codes it. Man, that's yeah, gotta it's, be it's that's gotta be curated. coming though. Where you could just like 
you could, there has to be some kind of technology that's like an advanced form of like motion tracking that in yeah, real time you just ingest any porn you want and it'll make a little program it's gonna like, get so real there's a whole VR section though on fucking Pornhub, real women again yeah yeah literally there's like a whole thing if that's the case though yeah I don't know I haven't seen anybody I, haven't, I have not had any friends that have done that with an actual machine so mm. I'd be curious to see how <laughs> how integrated it is if the technology is there My, and, and if I'm being left behind <laughs> I need to get with the times is what I'm saying. Well, my, my big issue is like, I don't want to deal with the cleanup. That's like the mm. mental hurdle for me for any of this stuff. Fleshlights, any of it. I just like, I'm like, oh, it'd be fun to try that. But the fact of the cleanup at the end, like overrides my desire to try it. <laughs> yeah, it's the whole post-nut clarity space of your brain. If I could be rich that. enough to just discard it and buy a new one every time, then I would be interested. Your, mm. your dumpster would be very odd. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be such a gross. Can, can, can you imagine the trash men collection. coming and like picking that up and they're just like, Oh, an old mag light. Sakes. These are great. Remember, <laughs> <laughs> I used these back when I worked at the auto body shop. Really? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh God. God. Just fucking pockets it. <laughs> so, yeah, exactly. Just fucking spoiled hot cum <laughs> in, a, in a fucking box. As soon as it opens, you just see like. The fucking, like, uh, the fumes seep <laughs> out. All the guys are like, ah! <laughs> They fall down. My cum is very toxic, to be fair. You start eating more pineapple and other kind of fruits to... <laughs> to make their life yeah. more... Then, then, it, then it pours out, <laughs> it pours out and they're like, Mmm, mm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, no, I haven't tried it yet. I will try it, though. I'll try it today. Please. I'll even text you as soon as I come. Please. I'll text you a picture with it on my dick like this. And I'll... Unironically, <laughs> I would love to have that picture. <laughs> like, if you sent me that, I would be so happy. Yeah, he's not going to see anything, right? It's just thighs and... I, I don't care. Shit. I think you probably see a little bit of the base of my yeah, cock a little bit. That's you probably fine. see my balls and Dude, my, my, my fat pooch. It's totally up to you, but I'm willing. <laughs> I would love to have just, that just, photo. Just, just cover up the, the slack with your gatekeeper t-shirt, you know? Just <laughs> <laughs> You're doing that sexy girl ah. thing where they, like, pull the cloth down just past their stuff. <laughs> <laughs> past their pussy and shit. Yeah, it just says something like, I'm wearing your shirt or something like that yeah. in the picture. What are you doing? That's what I, I just I just text you W Y D. Yeah, you up, bro? Yeah, you get this at four thirty in the morning. You're like, did, he, did, he, did he go to bed with this, or did he wake up to this? <laughs> yeah, I'm down. There was this. Uh, there's that website E fucked, and uh, in college, freshman year of college, uh, it, it was like people would just send each other like fucked up links. E fucks kind of like a funny. Or it's like it's yeah, yeah, it can yeah. be mm, kind of a funny porn. It for... can be funny, but sometimes it's just like really gross or just mean. So <laughs> mean. there's that. So uh like yeah, they had that serious trolling of wannabe porn stars and they basically just bring women in and just like make fun of them the whole time. And they're like naked with cum all over them. Damn. Okay. Yeah. Pretty uh, pretty rough. As a, as, a, as an eighteen year old, I was like, oh <laughs> <laughs> stupid whore. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> what a what a dumb bitch. All aggressive and stuff. Uh, How would one set Something like that up. <laughs> I don't know. How would one... Is death gripping your dick? <laughs> Post cum. <laughs> Stupid whore! <laughs> you fucking... <laughs> <laughs> the girl's like, you got issues. <laughs> um, <laughs> but there's this infamous video where this guy is having sex with a girl's rump. As it were. Her butthole. I know what a rump is, but oh. why is it? <laughs> it sounded less no, abrasive than you. asshole. I'm with you. I'm with you. All right. Her Verbage. rump, as it were. Yeah. yeah. Having sex with a rump, as it were. <laughs> and Tom, it he's, means ass. He, 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 he's going to town, whatever, and then he pulls out, and then she's like, she's the thing, the cue is she's supposed to suck his dick, but there's poop all over his dick. Oh. And the video is called It's Only Smells. And she sits there and she's like looking at it and there's like obviously shit on it. And he's like, ah, it's, it's only, it's only smells. It's only smells and has her uh, suck the dick. And I remember as a youth, for some reason that became a huge meme on our, uh, on our dorm floor. <sighs> it only smells. It only smells. So like we would write it on pieces of paper in our school or like, 
I saw a guy in downtown Kansas City. He like tagged it really nice on like, <clears throat> on like a bridge or something. Nice. What a shit meme to take over. <laughs> pun not intended. If at the time it was hilarious. Mm-hmm. People just thought it was the funniest thing. Did she actually suck it? Yeah. What like what place do you have to be in your life to? I I almost even understand the getting railed for money part, but mm-hmm. like to then go through with sucking. You a know what, Tom? Dick. Maybe some people like it. I don't. This, I, she didn't not, like it. She, not, yeah. she, didn't, she didn't really like it. I don't think, <laughs> yeah, but you're not framing it like she liked I it. I think. Yeah. Well, I think that the money probably is just a f- factor. Got to get that money. <clears throat> That's like true grind set. Eat, eat dick. All these eat, fucking like eat losers poop. online who are like grind set, dude, and like yeah, fucking let's go. Like that's real grind set. <laughs> eat poopy dick, or work at uh, Bezos Communist Factory. You choose. You're, she's a proud patriot. Is how you're framing this. I hate to. I hate <laughs> to be the one to say it, but yes, <laughs> I think the woman who spit in the face of communism. She spits on the face of a poopy dick and eats it. Nope. <laughs> Especially Amazon workers have to what piss in bottles. They can't take piss breaks. I'm sure she gets sucked as many his dick piss and breaks as she wants. Her. Probably could have pissed herself right there, and it would have given her a bonus. <laughs> <laughs> He's the real winner. Exactly. <laughs> Jeff Bezos, communist factory. <clears throat> One of the biggest corporations in the world. <laughs> Jeff Bezos yeah. communist factory. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to put that one together. If it was like a don't you guys are like, looking too much into it. Just accept <laughs> no, it, it, no it, it, it just accept right. the accept what it what what yeah, it is. Okay. okay? Mm-hmm. Didn't uh, Lindsay Lohan have quite the run? Speaking of grind set and eating poop off of dicks. I have no idea. I don't, I thought, I don't, I I don't know enough very, about Lindsay Lohan. Yeah. I thought she... Um, I thought <laughs> Ever since Herbie Fully Loaded, Don's been an avid Lindsay Lohan. <laughs> Didn't Lindsay Man, what have quite what a What happened to her? What happened to her? Not that I followed every step <clears throat> of her journey. Freaky Friday. <laughs> Herbie Fully Loaded. <laughs> eating poop off a dick. She so, did just go <clears throat> to become like a Saudi fuck doll. Yeah, Didn't that's what they, I mean. Didn't well, they, that's uh, not... Uh, well, you, that's what I'm fucking talking poopy dick a euphemism? She, she, I thought there was like a list of the things she did. I thought that the only crazy what is it in your brain? Mind. I don't know. You just like create these. You know what? But I'm glad. I'm glad I <laughs> these do. These structures because I get to walk around built thinking, on shaky thinking ground. That all is this colorful? You know. <clears throat> I thought that the only yeah. There's a list of there's all the There's a favela things, in your brain. A list well, of I know all the Lindsay Lohan. Yeah, all, all, all the things she got up to in Europe. You know the list. I have no idea. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. All I know is that Lindsay Lohan. I know that she. I don't know what the fuck happened to her. Who knows? All I know is that Amanda Bynes, I remember, was the big one from our youth that became, like, crazy. <laughs> she she God, didn't, she didn't go off and be, like, an escort, though. She just kind of lost her mind. She went crazy. Yeah. Oh, she went crazy? Okay. Yeah. Well, which one's worse? I did see a video of Lindsay Lohan trying to kidnap two children from Syria. She tried to kidnap two Syrian kids. Yeah. Did she really? <laughs> Lindsay Lohan, she's like, she speaks broken Arabic, I guess. <laughs> From her from her time in the Middle East, she throws a she throws a DVD copy of Mean Girls out their face, and it's like, but I'm like going up to him. The kid's like, Jesus Christ! She's like, you you hungry? You're hungry, bakala, bakala, ba hungry. Why did she try stealing the kids? Because I don't know. She's were they hungry? To save, save them. And then yeah. and obviously Trevor the mum save them like, from Syria. Parents. The parents were with the kids at the time. Nice. And the mum like hits Lindsay Lohan in the face. Yeah, the mom and dad. Are <laughs> she's like she, my hello, my hello, my hello, she's my powering hello. through just getting hit in the face by these, thought p- that these two people were kidnapping two kids but it was so she was just in, she, she's just insane as well crazy, yeah, oh, okay she so saw a, two syrian parents stealing two syrian she's children it's all on her camera like facing her and she's like i need to see is that children. still is that public video still I'm sure it's somewhere up there yeah <laughs> the <laughs> mom is like hitting her with the purse and the dad like punches her in the back I really want to see this video. Can you can you show me that video? Just fucking take some machete to the back of her legs. <laughs> A fucking machete. <laughs> 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 Oh, she like wanted- recording it. <laughs> what, yeah, what, what, what a cool video that'd be. All she wanted to do is save a couple kids. <laughs> her heart was... A, yeah. yeah. That's what she's saying in the news story. Like Lindsay Lohan tried stealing two yeah. uh, 
what was Syrian Syrian children, uh, but was uh, struck down in an act of self defense <laughs> against the parents. Her heart was in the right place. <laughs> on to well, on to our news. Uh, <clears throat> this is what happened. Did she get? What, what was the fallout? I, I imagine she probably ran out, just ran away. Yeah. Big fucking Botox mm-hmm. face with <laughs> mascara running down it. <laughs> <laughs> Running the streets of that poor city. <laughs> we were like, God damn. This ghostly pale girl. <laughs> yeah, she ends up just becoming like a what is like an urban legend in the city. <laughs> <laughs> like the ring. Yeah. Oh God. There's just uh, like all of a sudden in stores, people were like I don't, I don't remember stalking this. You see the ghost lady, you hide your children. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> She'll <laughs> take them. You hear her cries. You, you put them away. But like in like, uh, you know, little markets or whatever, they're sitting there and he's like, oh, oh, you've been marked. He's like, this place is cursed. There's like just DVDs <laughs> of all of her movies. It's like a little DVD kiosk thing of her movies there. You've been cursed. Burn this building to the ground! Parents just uh, using it as de- bedtime stories to get their children to sleep. If yeah. you do not Three, go to sleep! 300 years in the future. <laughs> yeah. If you do not go to sleep, <laughs> Lindsay Lohan will take you! The mean girl. And she flies. She has no legs. She flies. <laughs> <laughs> She's not like, like the mean girl. Yeah, the mean girl. The mean girl the will her- come for you. The herby fully loaded. <laughs> <laughs> And she always strikes on Freaky Friday. <laughs> just combining all, and then, like as so they leave, stupid. they're just like parent trap, and they shut the door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a crazy just, one. She was she was super popular. Well, imagine being so fucking used up and undesirable <laughs> that you can't even become like a a meat sock in the West anymore. You can't. Even, you have to go to the Middle no, East. No, you can't. You can't even be a. You can't even be a vigilante in the Middle East. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be vigilante in the West anymore. That's how used up you are. You have to go to the Middle East. Yeah, well, she can't even do it there either. Apparently, people are hacking her limbs off. And well, uh, to be fair, I feel like if if it's like Batman was operating in the Middle East, he would <laughs> he would last a week. You think so? You don't think so? I mean, I don't know. He's a pretty powerful man. In he's a pretty powerful man in the West, where no one will shoot at his exposed chin. I feel like he does it all the time. He gets shot at a lot. Yeah, but they're always shooting at his chest. I'm just trying to they come from the standpoint of I know there's going to be some DC guys <laughs> coming in. I'm like, dude, Batman could totally save the Middle East. Can you imagine Harley Quinn trying to operate in the Middle East? That would be a little bit more difficult. That w- <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Found it. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, yeah. I've, I've got a, yeah, fake- exactly. I got a luckily- baseball bat. Yeah, but then luckily, as she's getting ready to be fucking beheaded, they... <laughs> Is this offensive? <laughs> As, a, as, a, <laughs> as she's getting ready to, uh, oh, Mr. J, save yeah. me, Mr. J, save me, and then she thinks it's Joker getting ready to open the helicopter, but it's Carrie Bradshaw and all the girls from <laughs> Sex and City come in and fucking grab her, and they throw panties and thongs at all the all the people of the town, and yeah. Thank you, Carrie. Seal Team Sex. Seal Team Sex. I have not watched. <laughs> I haven't watched the rest of uh and just like that. I'm so behind. I uh, yeah, I've stopped after Miranda got like finger fucked and started. Is that the last episode? Yeah, that's the last episode I've seen too. I need to binge. When she started screaming like a, de- <gasps> a deaf woman, <gasps> I, I fucking I quit. <laughs> she, yeah, she was like. <laughs> <laughs> Did you notice how the like uh, horrific stand-up comedian woman is like asking her for consent the whole way through? Give me that clip. No, she's like, is this okay if I rub it here? Okay she's like, yeah. You, 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 are. you okay if I take it out of here? <laughs> <laughs> you, do you like this one? Do you like what I do? This? Is this okay? You guys are gonna have to give. <laughs> you like it when I trigger fuck your G spot? <laughs> I don't think that the viewer base is caught up with the Sex in the City thing yet, so you have to, like, explain what you're saying. We, I think we talked about it. Anyway. Okay, so in the new Sex in the City, which is set, like, 70 years after the original, <laughs> and, and it features only three of the, the heroic women... Uh, I want to go and have <laughs> sex with all the men. I'm an old woman. <laughs> I'm a 110-year-old Carrie Bradshaw. 
And yeah, uh, it's it's horrific. Every every single scene is played for the most social justice points possible. What do you mean, Charlotte? Your daughter's trans? <laughs> why? It's like, what Where do you mean, the why? the ethnically ambiguous men at? Mm. <laughs> it's like, what do you mean, why she trans? I don't, I'm so old. I'm out of the times. It's a learning experience. <laughs> this is my character development. It's me being a dumb c- the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> it culminates in this like seven foot tall, like super soldier, Mexican lesbian comedian grabbing Miranda by the back of her hair, like slamming her down onto a washing machine and just finger blasting her Miranda, to the most. Is this okay? Is this okay? <laughs> She's like asking consent the is whole this time. Okay? As she rails Miranda so good. with her fucking Could I do this to you? <laughs> <laughs> <her> sausage fingers. <laughs> There's no way of knowing anything. And it's yeah. like they're trying to be discreet because Carrie is Carrie's sleeping. Asleep. Carrie's sleeping, but a fucking like the jungle book is going on in the next room. And then Carrie's like, I'm so sleepy. I'm an old woman. And then she just fucking pisses herself. Not yeah, Miranda, yeah, yeah. Carrie. <laughs> Carrie is the oh, wailing. Oh, oh, <laughs> she's like, oh, I can't walk. <laughs> because she's literally getting a hip replacement. Yeah. She's she's 50. I'm going to be years completely old. honest. There, none of that's going to make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope that if, if you have HBO Max, just watch In Just Like That. Yeah, do we know the episode number? They, they could skip that it. That has like five, five or six. I think it's five. Right. Okay. Yeah. No, don't skip it. Watch all of it. Yeah, you have to the get the build up. up is what's yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but they're not going to appreciate that Miranda. So, okay. <laughs> Miranda canonically <laughs> is <laughs> a lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> is it okay? Can I do that? Yeah, yeah. Maybe they were writing the wrongs of that episode or something. I, I don't know. Well, the episode, episode in the original. It, it, yeah, season one. It was one of the funniest episodes. Oh, when well, she's a, her boss well, thinks no, she's well, that, lesbian because she has a short haircut. Well, yeah, it's like you mean the extremely the end, tastefully well done, executed, yeah, yes, funny episode. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're like, how do we ruin that? <laughs> yeah, Miranda, she likes girls now. It, it's hard to watch. Legitimately. It'd be different too if it was like Miranda has always liked women and mm-hmm. she's kind of hidden it. But it's like you they made a clear you point. You cannot make it very clear, being like, "Oh no, I don't. I'm not sexually attracted to women." And then I, I don't think, I don't know. Can you find that epiphany if you're like your whole life you're like, and you even test it and be like, "Nah, no, nah, I'm just yeah." Not well, that, that to was women. that was the joke. Is her boss? She would have had a huge leg up at work if she was lesbian. Cause yeah, she and she tries. So, yeah, and then yeah. that's the joke. She like tries to kiss the girl afterward to see. Oh, maybe I'll, like, no. I'll be a yeah, lesbian nothing. for my career. And then yeah. she's like straight, yeah. definitely straight. Uh-huh. But if yeah, that's what I'm saying though is like, I don't know if it's if this is ignorant of me. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> is it possible to have that experience and then go your whole life married to this guy and like you love sucking and fucking cock, and then one day you're just like. I'm, ex- I, I'm all of a sudden attracted to women now. It feels like there's no buildup. It feels so random, I guess. Mm. She got. Yeah, that's what it was. I mean, mm-hmm. the super soldier did shotgun weed into her mouth. She like got her drunk and high, and was like, "Now." Well, Miranda was also being kind of like a f- dumb, flirty bitch. She's like, "You got a shotgun." She's like all drunk. You got a shotgun that weed it to my mouth again. <laughs> she's like, okay, as long as you consent. <laughs> she's like, she's like that character from Road Warrior. Or <laughs> we fight. <laughs> I'm gonna take down your panties. <laughs> your fingers are so much thicker than my husband's. <laughs> <laughs> they do. <dude>, they. <laughs> <laughs> they look like corker sausages, dude. They're just these big, thick, like you know when sausages cook too hard, and start like splitting apart. <laughs> she, she knows the power she holds her hand. She's like, look at it. She's like, do you? Uh, I'm going in. <laughs> so, so, how she? How could she even tell if they were screams of consent or screams of despair? Do you love this? <laughs> ah! You want this? She's consenting! <laughs> this, this is what consent sounds like! Takes out her giant seven-inch clit. 
just fucking slams it in. <laughs> <laughs> It's just a big oh, pink yeah, Clint's, fucking. Yeah, Clint's so big. She's holding it like a stretch piece of laffy taffy, fucking jamming it into her asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! Do you consent? Grabbing Miranda's Clinton, fucking stretching it out too. <laughs> like, fuck, like she's making pasta. <laughs> What a fucking chef boy RD at? <laughs> if we can, there's. I mean, we probably could. Well, I don't know. Probably get demonetized. I'd love to. I, while we're talking about that, I'd love to just have that on silent mute. Uh, the the actual audio, like the clip from the show. Fuck, dude. And have been playing. <laughs> Mamma mia! This is a giant fucking hat. Oh, my God. Fuck's sakes. Oh, goddamn. <coughs> <coughs>